Good evening. Today, today's Bible study comes from the book of Luke, chapter 2, verses 33 through 40, and they read as follows. The child's father and mother marveled at what was said about him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, this child is destined to cause the falling and rising of many in Israel and to be a sign that will be spoken against so that the thoughts of many hearts will be revealed and the sword will pierce your own soul too. There was also a prophet, Anna, the daughter of Penuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was very old. She had lived with her husband seven years after her marriage and then was a widow until she was 84. She never left the temple but worshiped night and day, fasting and praying. Coming up to them at that very moment, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were looking forward to the redemption of Jerusalem. When Joseph and Mary had done everything required by the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee to their own town of Nazareth. And the child grew and became strong. He was filled with wisdom. And the grace of God was on him. Amen. Well, back at this, we'll go to 34. Simeon blessed him. Joseph and Mary, he had blessed Anna and the child and them and sought the blessing of God. He was um, set to do these things because this was a great accomplishment um, as far as the word goes. And they were marveled at what was said because once again, God's word had gone through many different vessels to know just who Jesus was, who this child was. And although we were born poorly, we gave poorly, our offering was two turtle doves, which we didn't have, two pigeons rather, which we didn't have much of. God was taking care of things. His word was being redeemed and being spoken of. And the people meaning Joseph and Mary, we're seeing how many other people have been blessed, spoken to by the Spirit about Jesus. Now, in verse 33, it says, And his father and his mother were marveling at the things which were spoken of concerning him. Who? Simeon was not telling Joseph and Mary stuff that they didn't hear or didn't previously learn about Jesus. It was just amazing to them. They marveled because that these truths were coming to them from this man. Could you imagine somebody walking up to you and telling you about your child and who they are and what they're going to be and you already know? Ooh. And the fact that this all went together, it was like a great song. It was harmonizing together. All of God's words were coming together. And Simeon blessed them and said unto Mary his mother, Behold, this child is set for the falling and the rising of many of Israel, and for a sign which is spoken against. Luke didn't forget about the birth, nor had his reference to parent and father been any denial of it. But... The focus here is in the words of what Simeon is saying. And he didn't address, he didn't go to Joseph at all, but to Mary. If you look at that, he went to Mary because Mary was blessed. And the rising and falling of many, those rising would be such men as the fishers of Galilee, his disciples who would follow him and become his apostles, and those falling would be the unbelievers, as Annas and Cephas, the mighty high priest, the Pharisees, all these false prophets in the ruling hierarchies that were not understanding who was truly king and who he was. The sign which was spoken against, the name of Jesus was spoken against not only by the Romans, but it was spoken by numerous people and it was a intense anger a bitterness but the 
don't think that it's not going to stop being spoken against. Even to this day, we got a victory coming. So know that it is going to be spoken about. The servants of Satan, they are going to speak against him, even though they knew who he was, even when he told them to get, get out of that body. They knew who he was, but they are going to speak against him. Yea, and a sword shall pierce through thine own soul that thoughts out of many hearts may be revealed. This was a prophecy. If we're told that Mary was going to see her son die or be crucified, and how she was going to hurt herself for the death of her son, and for the things that were going to happen to her son, as you notice, Joseph was not included in this. This specific purpose of Calvary is also seen to be for man's revelation. Not for Moses, not for, but for everybody. And Mary was going to see this and it was going to hurt her. But it was something that was going to happen. It was spoken of. It was prophecy being revealed. And Mary was going to have to be a part of this prophecy being revealed. There were things that she just had to realize were going to happen. And Simeon is talking to her, not to Peter. Or, I'm sorry, not to Joseph. She sure wasn't talking to Peter yet. But no, not to Joseph. So he's speaking to his mom in regards to you're going to see your son die. You will know these things. So expect them. But he is different. And know that he is different. So these things are going to happen. And these, and there was Anna, a prophetess, the daughter of a male of the tribe of Asher. She was of great age, having lived with the husband seven years from her virginity, and she had been a widow even in, unto fourscore and four years, who departed not from the temple, worshiping and fastings and supplications night and day. Anna speaks of the child, and she was a widow unto years 84. It didn't say she was a widow for 84 years. It just says at 84 she was still a widow. But she was, if you look at how old she was, she was over a century. She departed not from the temple. I don't think it means she didn't leave the temple. I just think it means that she never, um, discarded her temple duties despite her age and remember she was old but her temple duties she took serious it is pleasant to see this too she is older and can get weary and she took more pleasure in doing her duties and coming up at that very hour she gave thanks to God and spake to him to all them that were looking for the redemption of Jerusalem Excuse me. She was speaking to God, but it is clear when Luke is writing this also, the phenomena re referring to the infant Christ. But it must have been similar to the testimony of Simeon, because Simeon knew who was there, and he was praising God for who was there. Um, and when they had accomplished all things that were according to the law of the Lord, they returned into Galilee to their own city of Nazareth. They left. In short, they just left. And they were going to go back to Galilee. So they came there, and it tells you at the beginning, and the first part is uh, that they came there to do the ritual. And once they were done with the ritual, they were leaving. Amen.